What is going on guys? In this video, I'm bringing you how you can fix lag on PC. And let's just jump right into it. This is my PC setup. This is my monitor here. We're going to be diving in and going underneath and I'm going to be showing you really what you can do to fix lag on PC. It starts with internet connection. So as you see here, we're going to go look at the back of my PC here. We do have an ethernet cable. It's hard to see all under this USB and whatnot. But right there, beside that little, uh, the little glowing red, is my Ethernet cable, and of course my HDMI is connected after that. But my Ethernet cable goes from the back of my PC, and um, you'll see the slot if you ever use one. This is my modem, this is my router. It goes from my PC, and it goes to the router right here, as you can see, and it just kind of clicks in there. Uh, the Ethernet cables are very distinguishable, you'll be able to see those. Um, I will have some links down in the description, like I've said before, for these, so, and a wireless adapter for a, uh, if you guys want to use wireless adapter instead of Ethernet cable, even though I do recommend using Ethernet cable, it's going to give you your fastest thing, or fastest possible, uh, connection to the internet speed. Now, you do want to check this, so do type in, in your browser, do type in internet speed test. As you can see here, I get about almost 500 megabytes of download speed. I get 35 megabytes of upload speed and have a 33 millisecond latency. And that's a big thing here. So you want to make sure you want to start with internet speed. If your internet speed is good and capable and your computer hardware is good and capable, you want to start with that. Make sure everything's good like that. The next step you can do is stopping some applications from running. So most of you know you can push Control alt delete and go into your task manager and end some task. When you end so, some of those tasks, it will then cause your PC when you're running certain games to run a little bit better because it's not having to overwork and use different applications. Um, okay, we're going to jump out of this. Again, make sure you just run internet speed test on your browser to make sure of that. That's the first step. Now we're going to check out, like I said, we're going to look at some of the applications. If you go down here, the little arrow, it will show you all your applications that are running. And as you can see, my Steam is running. Uh, Razer Chroma, which is for my uh, my uh, keyboard, is running. We've got a bunch of other applications running that you kind of want to take off. You can also end those in the task manager right here, as I'm showing you. But this is probably one of the simpler ways. And you can just go down here and kind of exit out of those tasks. So if I've got, you know... Right now, Battle.net, I'm not going to be playing, I'm going to be playing Fortnite here in a minute, but show you guys the next portion of the video. I want to end that, I want to end the Steam, because it auto-updates. Any game, like or any application like that is auto-updating, you want to go ahead and end that task. That way it's not overworking your computer while you're playing certain games, and this can cause you to pretty much stop lag on certain applications. That being said, in the next portion of the video, guys, I'm going to be showing you Fortnite, uh, using that game as an example to show you what other things you can do to prevent some other cases of lag because it's not just all internet lag, right? Some lag can be different and this is just kind of showing a general basis of what you can do on PC to fix lag. So stay tuned for this next portion of the video when I jump over here and explain. Guys, in this portion of the video, we're going to be talking about how you can fix lag on using settings in your games like so lag comes from multiple different things in the first video we touched on you know basically your internet speed and stuff like that do run your internet speed uh, and again you can just put internet speed test on Google Chrome or whatever browser you use use that and it will tell you what your internet speed is if you have decent internet like the one I showed you of mine mine's pretty good um, you may have a little bit less you may have a little bit more if that being said though, these are just some extra key things you can do in games. We're using Fortnite for the example, but you can do multiple different games for this example. Um, but again, the first thing we touched on in the first part of the video was internet speed and stuff like that. So you need to start there. And if you're having issues with that, you do need to use an ethernet cable if you're able to, or at least a better Wi-Fi adapter. They make them on Amazon as well. I'll leave some links down in the description below if you guys want to see that. There's some adapters you can get uh, that are faster speeds. Uh, millisecond speeds that will act and work faster than is if you obviously had a lesser one because obviously different some of the adapters anyways ethernet cable is the main way to go that being said for like graphics and stuff so like when you're getting lag and some stuff in games it, it doesn't just have to do with internet speed it could just be your pc just doesn't like certain games like that or you know anything like that so like for instance for fortnite i actually do run performance mode which has been a big thing for a lot of uh, creators, other YouTubers, stuff that I see, watch, and streamers. It's going to just kind of help in the long run because, I mean, you don't really need that, you know, max graphics on Fortnite. I turn the view distance on Epic, for example. I turn textures on high or medium, somewhere in that way. 
Um, meshes, you could put, you know, it can reduce performance, so you could put on high if you wanted to. But I would kind of keep that on low. Um, and that's that's pretty much all there is to get. Of course, have your 3D resolution put to 100%, because if you don't, it is going to look choppy and make it look terrible, where it won't matter, you know, how good you're, you're not lagging or whatever. It's going to look terrible. So that being said, those are the kind of things you want to look out for in certain games. Again, if they have any kind of performance mode that you're seeing right here as a setting, that's what you're kind of wanting to use in most games. And even like a PC like mine, I have a 4070 Super in my build. I've got 64 gigs of RAM. I could probably handle running all that and streaming, etc. But, you know, I kind of want to go for the performance. I'm usually a big person on the performance. I want to have the best performance possible. So those are some key things that you can do in games. And with your internet speed test, again, Ethernet cable is going to be the biggest thing you can do. Again, there's a link down in the description below if you guys want an Ethernet cable. Some people don't know what they are. I myself didn't know what they were until I started getting into online gaming. I used to just play Xbox a lot. Before I got onto the online gaming side of it, I didn't even use an Ethernet cable. But Ethernet cable has saved me time and definitely turned out way better as far as internet speed goes and... Um, basically lag and stuff like that because I have dealt with lag pretty much all my life when it comes to internet or any games like that online so this is how you fix PC lag uh, for a computer um, you can also do this for a laptop and I have a video of that if you guys want to check that out um, it's how to fix lag on a gaming laptop in my um, playlist on the HP Pavilion um, gaming laptop uh, but that works for all laptops and this works for all PCs you know um, now if your PC just can't run certain games that may be a different issue that may be a quality issue that you need better hardware but this is for a general basis of most of your PCs and stuff out there and this can even go for consoles as well and I can do a video on that guys if you want to see that that being said guys I hope you enjoyed the video be, be sure to like and subscribe as always and I'll see you in the next video thanks for watching